comment, like, subscribe. The bell keeps you notified. It helps the show thrive. Despite how far human civilization may have come a generation after generation, it seems extreme weather can always cause devastating effects, regardless of how advanced we may have come, especially as it seems that these extreme weathers are becoming more and more frequent. If you search through the news, more often than not, you will find talk of devastating storms in some parts of the world. These storms will always have specific names attached to them, and no I'm not talking about the human given names we have been given storms in recent times however, that is something we've talked about in the past in a whole video dedicated to that matter so go watch if you want to know about those names. I am today instead talking about the names we use to differentiate between the types of storms that are happening. More often than not it is three specific types of storms that are mentioned by name, those being hurricanes, cyclones and typhoons. As we hear about these more and more more, we really have to ask ourselves, what do these different names for different storms actually even mean? Well, actually the first thing I asked myself was, what is the collective name for these types of storms? For that, I found a couple of answers. The Wikipedia page for these events as a whole called them tropical cyclones. However, other names for them it says includes tropical storms, tropical depressions, or just cyclones. A BBC article on the matter calls them tropical storms. Out of all of these collective names, I'm going to go tropical storm over tropical cyclone, simply because calling them tropical cyclones and then saying a specific kind of cyclone is called a cyclone is kind of confusing to say the least. The reason they are called tropical storms is because that is exactly what they are. Storms that occur within the tropics region of our planet. The tropics region being the central region of our globe, anywhere between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic is an interesting word unto itself. It derives from the Greek tropikos, meaning to turn or change. This etymology relates to an idea in which the sun would turn back on itself in these regions after it's reached its northern or southernmost point in the sky. Tropic would of course eventually get adapted into the adjective of tropical, which today is probably a more commonplace word than tropic itself is, being used to relate to all things exotic and sunny. So in regards to tropical storms, there are three main types of them, those being the aforementioned hurricanes, cyclones and typhoons. What exactly is different between these three things to justify these different names then? Well, from a meteor logical perspective, there is actually no difference between these three things. They are fundamentally the exact same things. So why the different names? Well, these names actually relate to geography. These storms get different names depending on where they actually are on the planet. In example, Tropical storms are referred to as hurricanes if they occur in the North Atlantic Ocean or the North East Pacific Ocean. This sounds like a bit of an abstract, but what it means in reality is that hurricanes happen around the south of the USA, Mexico and across Central America, aka the Caribbean. What's interesting about this name also is that it derives very directly from where they are found, as the word hurricane comes from the mythology of the Taino people, indigenous people of the Caribbean. The god of evil in their mythology is called Holikan, and in their stories it was this god who blew these mighty winds that decimated so much of their land. So this god's name got applied to these extreme storms in this part of the world. This Taino god derives from the Mayan god of Holikan, who was more specific specifically the god of wind, storms and fire, as opposed to just evil in general. Once Spanish colonizers reached these lands, they witnessed these storms for themselves and were told of how they were caused by the evil god of Holocan. Eventually the Spanish adapted it into hurricane like we know it today. It's also worth noting that hurricanes and other tropical storms can only be called these if their winds reach over 74 miles an hour, otherwise it's just a really bad storm. Hurricane's etymology goes a really long way in regards to explaining why these storms have different names across the globe. The Taino and Mayan people, as well as their gods of wind and evil, only existed in this part of the world. However, these severe storms happen all across the planet. So when they happen in somewhere like India, in example, the people there in ancient times weren't going to have any clue that people over in Mesoamerica and name them after their gods and follow suit. Instead, they were going to give them a different name. This brings us neatly onto cyclones I suppose. Cyclones are tropical storms that happen in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean. 
this means that cyclones can affect countries like India and Sri Lanka and parts of Indonesia, but also reach the east coast of Africa as well as the island nation of Madagascar. They can even affect the Arabian Peninsula too. The etymology of cyclone unto itself does relate to events in this part of the world. However, it doesn't tie into mythology or gods from this area, unfortunately. Cyclone is actually a word of Greek origins. Now, I know what you're thinking. How did a Greek word end up being applied to tropical storms that occur around India? Well, it derives from the time of the British East India Company. Of course, the British East India Company was full of well-to-do British people who loved to name things in Greek as it was the custom in much of academia, and it was no exception here. While Britain gets stormy, it doesn't get tropical storms as it doesn't lie in the tropics. The British people running the East India Company on the subcontinent would never have seen such strong winds and extreme weathers. One British person was taken so aback by these extreme winds that he gave them a new name, that being one Henry Piddington a British East India Company official. In 1789, he witnessed a huge storm that devastated the part of India he was stationed in. Upon seeing this, he gave this kind of storm a new name. As I said, he was a fancy British person, and fancy British people love giving things names of Greek origins. So he formed the name Cyclone from the Greek Kaikalon, which means moving in a whirling circle. This is of course because one of the most noticeable things about these tropical storms is that they form in a circle-like shape. Especially especially when viewed from above. This once again helps us realise why they are only called cyclones here, as the British East India Company weren't based in the Caribbean. Perhaps if the British did have more rule over there, cyclone may be an attached to the tropical storms that happened there as opposed to hurricane. We just don't know. This leaves us with just a typhoon left to cover. Typhoon is the name for tropical storms that occur over the northwest Pacific Ocean. This primarily means Southeast Asia, but they can also affect the east of India as well as North Australia. Australia too. Typhoon's origins do not seem as clear cut as the other two. Some believe it comes from the Greek Typhon. Typhon in Greek mythology is a dangerous monster, heavily linked with strong winds, so it makes sense as to why they are named after this mythological figure. Once again, these storms in Asia have a Greek name thanks to European interference. I read it may derive once again from the British East India Company, however it may also have been coined by Portuguese travellers in this land too. Some however argue that Typhon Typhoon does have etymological roots in Asia, however, that being with the Arabic word of Tufan, which means big storm. However, people further believe that this Arabic term comes from that Greek word of Typhon. It's all a little bit confusing to say the least. However, once again, this makes it clear as to why these things have different names in different parts of the world. It's just a simple case of language and culture coming to different conclusions on these storms. Tons of things have different names in different languages. Tropical storms are just a another example of this it seems. Plus, I imagine that these have even more names in different languages too. Let me know what the words for hurricane, cyclone and typhoon are in your language down below. Something also worth noting is that the way in which these storms spin have no bearing on their name. I think I read somewhere that if they're clockwise they're a cyclone and if they're counterclockwise they're a hurricane or something like that. They can spin in opposite directions depending if they're above or below the equator, but this has no bearing on the name. Just, just thought I'd bust the etymology myth if you'd seen it about. There is however one other name you may be thinking about too for these storms. Well, I at least thought about it anyway. That being the name Tornado. While tornadoes are circular extreme weather phenomena, it isn't simply another name for tropical storms. They are very much their own thing. Tornadoes can occur pretty much everywhere on the planet, way outside of the tropics too. The USA is very well known for tornadoes, reporting over 1,000 every year. Tornadoes form during storms as columns of air that spin viciously and pick up water and debris. As for that name of tornado, it's thought to be a corruption of the Spanish tornada, meaning thunderstorm. This Spanish name came from the Latin tornare, meaning to turn. This Latin term also formed the Latin word of tormentum, which is named for a twisting device used for torture. This is where we got the modern word of torment from too. So tornado and torment both relate to twisting, but very different kinds of twisting, that's for sure. This doesn't relate to today's topic, but I thought it was a neat but morbid fact. And who doesn't love a neat but morbid fact? Though of course, speaking of twisting, a twister is yet another name you may be thinking of too. This is simply a colloquial term for tornadoes. Supposedly, this term for tornadoes dates back to the late 19th century in the USA. 
It would be in the mid 20th century, however, 1966 to be exact, when the game of Twister would be released. This of course has nothing to do with actual Twisters, aka tornadoes, and even less to do with the topic of conversation for this video, hurricane slash cyclone slash typhoons. It's just the same name. This, this, this wasn't where I imagined this video ending up, but here we are apparently. Stay safe out there. This video topic was suggested by Kevin Eager over on my Patreon. Every Wednesday, I put up a video request post over on my Patreon for my awesome patrons to leave video ideas on. I then pick one of those ideas to be turned into a video the following Wednesday. So if you have a great idea for a Name Explain video and wish to enjoy Name Explain videos ad-free as well as get exclusive content, then why not support the channel on Patreon? It takes just $1 a month to help the channel in a huge way and gets you all of these amazing benefits. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below. Name Explain depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon. So a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, and the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explain videos. $2 a month gets you all that, plus your name here with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.